we obviously very much regret the continued loss of lives during the political unrest. The latest figure we have is the one given out on the 17th of May, uh, so that's two days ago by the Attorney General, Luisa Ortega Diaz, who confirmed 42 deaths uh, in the context of the protest. I know there are some slightly bigger figures out there as well. That's a lot of people um, to be killed uh, during, during political protests. Um, we welcome, obviously, her announcement that the deaths are being investigated, and we hope they really are properly investigated. I think that's extremely important. Uh, there are, of course, allegations of excessive use of force uh, by security forces. Um, so uh, I stress again the importance of them operating in accordance with international human rights standards. Also, uh, there are reports of violence by armed groups, and that's the responsibility of the state uh, to protect individuals, um, to protect their population from uh, armed groups uh, and from the proliferation of weapons. Um, we also urge protesters to, to use peaceful means. I think that's very important um, as well. And just one more on the general situation. We are very concerned by the reports that people are being who've been detained in the context of the protests uh, are being brought before military tribunals. Um, <clears throat> and uh, obviously, civilians taking part in, in public protests uh, should, not be, uh, should not be put before military tribunals, but if they are accused of uh, some kind of crime or misdemeanor, they should be before civilian courts. Uh, on, the, on Mr. Capriles, uh, yes, uh, the, uh, he was due to meet the High Commissioner, Zaid Rad al Hussein today in New York. Um, so uh, when we heard the news last night, uh, Zaid uh, put out a couple of, of tweets where he said he was hoping, he had been hoping to see him in the UN uh, and he regretted that Mr. Capriles was unable to travel. And then he said he hopes that the uh, passport removal is not a reprisal uh, linked to the planned meeting with, with the High Commissioner in New York today. Uh, just one more point on that. He will actually continue to meet not with Mr. Capriles because he can't come, but with his lawyer who is in the US um, and uh, who we understand wishes to share a report um, that uh, Mr. Capriles was planning to present himself to the High Commissioner. So that meeting will take place uh, this afternoon in New York.